everyone this is Shaintani from Edureka and welcome to today's live session so today I will guide you on how to become a test automation engineer so let's have a look at the agenda for today's session so first we will see who is a test automation engineer and then we will see what do they exactly do next up we will have a look at the roadmap to become a test automation engineer and then we will know about the various job roles and the required skills for an automation engineer then we will move on to the various roles and responsibilities and also know about all the skills that you must have in order to become a test automation engineer finally we will have a look at the various companies hiring test automation engineers so let's get started now before I tell you who is a software test automation engineer let us first know what is software testing so software testing is basically a process of evaluating the functionality of a software application to find any software bugs so it checks whether the developed software met these specified requirements and identifies any defect in the software in order to produce a quality product it is also stated as the process of verifying and validating a software product so it checks whether the software product meets the business and technical requirements that guided its design and development it works as per the requirement and can be implemented with the same characteristics so now that you know what is software testing let's see who is a testing automation engineer so the role of the test automation engineer is to design build test and deploy effective test automation solutions now to fulfill this role the automation engineer applies appropriate automation technologies to meet the short and long-term goals of the testing organization so now what does automation engineer actually do an automation engineer basically utilizes technology to improve streamline and automate a manufacturing process they are responsible for planning implementation and monitoring of such technology so now let's move ahead and have a look at the roadmap that will lead you to become a successful test automation engineer so first of all in order to become an automation engineer you need to have a bachelor's degree you will likely need to earn a bachelor's of engineering degree related to the field in which you want to work for example if you want to become a software testing engineer you will need a bachelor's degree in software engineering now to work in this field you must be comfortable working closely with other professionals you also need mathematics and science and also a little bit of computers and electronics now next up we will need to know about the basic principles of software testing such as finding the presence of any sort of defects how to determine the risk without exhaustive testing early testing defect clustering and how to make a product fulfill business requirements without any error now if you are new to the testing industry one needs to have knowledge of programming languages such as C, C++, Java, SQL, Python, HTML. Now along with this if you also have a master's degree in computer science, machine learning, statistics or any such certifications related to automation testing it is just an added advantage. Now some of the best certifications for a test automation engineer are CAST that is the Certified Associate in Software Testing, CSTE that is the Certified Software Test Engineer and there are many more such certifications. So now let's move ahead and have a look at the job roles for a test automation engineer. Now some of the most common job profiles include test automation, performance tester, test analyst and QA engineer. So let's have a look at some of the statistics provided by LinkedIn on these top profiles. So here you can see the graph for the top companies in test automation and some of the big names are Accenture, Cognizant, IBM, TCS and Infosys. Now the top skills that are required to become a test automation engineer include the knowledge of testing, agile methodologies, SQL, test planning and also you need to be well acquainted with manual testing. 
Now, apart from these, you need to be well acquainted with programming languages like Python, Golang and JavaScript. You also need to be well versed with AWS, microservices, Docker and Selenium. Now, these skills will basically help you move to a higher position as a test automation engineer and also add up to your appraisal. Okay, now talking about appraisals and hike, Edureka has released a small video just a few hours back on hike and appraisal during this season of the year, which is essentially the appraisal season. So do check out our latest video named Apna Hike Aiga. I'll leave the link in the live chat and also in the description box. Hope you guys will enjoy it. Now moving on, next up is the performance tester profile. So some of the top companies for this job role are IBM, Accenture, TCS, Cognizant and Capgemini. Now some of the top industries for performance tester are the IT services, computer software, telecommunications, financial services as well as banking. Now United States is considered to be the best preferred location for a performance tester followed by India, UK, Canada and Australia. Now, some of the must-have skills to become a performance tester include the knowledge of Selenium, Cucumber, Java API, Apium, Jira, Python, and also you must be profound with automation tools. So next we will talk about the test analyst job profile. Now for this particular role, Bangalore is one of the top most preferred locations after US, UK and Australia. And similarly, companies like Accenture, Cognizant, TCS are one of the top recruiters. Now talking about some of these skills, you must be well versed with SQL, Jira, UAT, TDD, Confluence and some of the scripting languages like Python, JavaScript. Also, you would need some of the automation tools. So now that you know about the different job profiles, Let's have a look at the roles and responsibilities of a testing automation engineer. Now in case of software testing, every company defines its own level of hierarchy, roles and responsibilities. But on a broader level, if you take a look, you'll always find two levels in a software testing team. The first one is the test lead or manager. Now a test lead is responsible for defining the testing activities for subordinates, testers or test engineers. All responsibilities of test planning to check if the team has all the necessary resources to execute the testing activities. To check if testing is going hand in hand with the software development in all phases and also prepare the status report of testing activities. He is also responsible for required interactions with customers and updating project manager regularly about the progress of testing activities. Next up we have the test engineers or the QA testers. Now they are responsible to read all the documents and understand what needs to be tested. Now based on the information procured in the above step decide how it is to be tested and inform the test lead about what all resources will be required for software testing, then develop test cases and prioritize testing activities. Then we finally execute all the test case and report defects, define severity and priority for each defect and carry out regression testing every time when changes are made to the code to fix defects. Now how a software application shapes up during the development process entirely depends on how the software engineering team organizes work and implements various methodologies. Now test automation engineers can save you from the world full of codes. Enterprises completely agree with this statement and this is the reason why you see a lot of job opportunities in automation testing industry. So here I am going to explain in detail the 7 most important steps to becoming a test automation engineer. It will also help you if you are planning to switch your career to automated testing. Now the first one is manual testing. Now while I understand that companies are moving towards codeless automated testing tools to reach an expert level and to keep up with the competition of automation test engineers in the industry, it is highly important to focus on manual testing concepts initially. 
Now manual testing is basically a process of finding out the defects or bugs in a software program. In this method, the tester plays an important role of end user and verifies that all the features of the application are working correctly. Now this makes a point very clear that automation testing is for experienced manual testers. The next skill is the programming skills. Now it is very important to possess excellent technical programming skills. Now most newcomers ask that if they need programming skills for automated testing. Now most of the people who come up with the idea of shifting to automated testing wish to skip the coding part. Either they don't have programming knowledge or they hate coding. However, that one needs to be very proficient with manual testing skills to become a great automation testing engineer for a long lasting career in the software testing industry. And if you are new to the testing industry, you need the following programming languages such as C, C++, Java, SQL, Python, Perl, XML, HTML and CSS. Now there are also a few technical skills a manual tester should master. To become a brilliant automation testing engineer such as the test architecture test design performance testing configuration management manual testing agility and interaction communication between the teams troubleshooting agile devops and continuous de delivery now the combination of all the above mentioned skills can help you transit to automated testing easily and smoothly now next up is understand the application now the common application details that every automation tester needs to take care of are which programming languages have been used while developing the application, on what platform is the application built, which databases are involved, are there any web services or APIs connected to different parts of the system and how and many more such questions. Now these are just few points and it may vary based on the complexity of the applications. So make sure you are completely thorough with the application that you are going to test via automation testing. Now next up we have the automation testing tools. Now when learning to become a smart automation testing engineer, if we don't talk about the test automation tools then we are doing an injustice to the industry. A major part of the companies have already started using automation testing tools. Now the main reason behind using them is their benefits to the enterprises. Some of the famous testing tools are Selenium, Testing Wiz, Ranorex, Sahi, Water and Test Complete. Now next up is the ATLC methodology. Now ATLC stands for Automation Testing Lifecycle. Now the way we follow the life cycle of software development and testing, same is the way for automation testing as well. To understand and follow the ATLC, one needs to have experience of the following such as the decision making in automated testing, then the test automation tools, automation testing process, then test planning, design and development, test script execution and management and finally review and assessment of test programs. Now for each test automation requirements, a test automation engineer follows the life cycle and to be a successful automation test engineer, you need to understand the ATLC methodology and execute it in your each test automation project. Now moving on, the next one is the test automation strategy. So once you are through with the ATLC methodology and the automated testing tools, you are well prepared to create your test automation strategy for your clients or employer. Now to become a great automation test engineer, you would be the right person to initiate with preparing the test automation strategy, finalizing the tools, overall cost and ROI calculation. Now automation strategy creation is considered to be a very crucial part as you would need to define and develop the path that will help you to reduce the manual testing hours and offer justice on the ROI of the clients. Now let's move on to the final skill which is the testing trends. Now for this you have to stay updated with the testing strengths and this is the most important part of this industry. The most trending best practices, tools, techniques, tips and tricks will help you and your team to achieve the success in optimizing your test automation strategies and methodology. Now this generation is moving towards automation everywhere. 
However, there has been a lot of debate around test automation tools replacing the manual testers. But remember, the creators of test automation tools are the testers like you. So, to become a smart automation testing engineer and to be successful in this industry, you would need to really work hard with passion and dedication. So, once you have mastered these skill skills, you are now on your way to become a successful software test automation engineer. Now, let's see some of the topmost companies that are hiring for a test automation engineer. Now, these companies are Accenture, IBM, Cognizant, Infosys, TCS and Capgemini. So, do keep an eye for an opportunity and utilize your skills to grab the offer. So, that was all about today's session and I hope this will help you in the long run to prepare yourself and get well versed with all the skills in order to become a successful test automation engineer. Now, if you want to learn more about software testing, Edureka is launching a new master's program on software testing that will include courses like Fundamentals of Software Testing, Selenium, Continuous Testing using DevOps, Mobile Automation Testing using Epium and Performance Testing using JMeter. So I hope you liked today's session and if you have any queries you can put it up in the chat section and we will get back to you. Till then, thank you and happy learning.